What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. One Piece episode 450. Uh, Magellan and Luffy are running it back. Um, the 1v1, which, lucky for Luffy, he happens to be the main character, so he even gets the opportunity to run it back. <laughs> Should be dead for about the third or fourth time now in the story. Um, so I'm curious if it's kind of going to be like with Crocodile, you know, when he ran it back again and, you know, came out victorious. Is that going to happen here? Are we going to kind of go with that formula? I'm curious if that's going to be like a reoccurring thing, kind of like as we go, like Luffy kind of gets smacked around and should die, but because he's MC, he's not. So we'll see how that goes. Um, they're opening up on Ivankov here. Like we kind of went over it. It's, re it's regular shonen anime. They're not going to off screen one of the, it seems to be, I'm not going to say like key character to the story, but he seems to be a pretty decently important character opposed to like some of the fodder that we run across. I mean, he's not going to die here, okay? So we'll see if he's able to maybe do the same thing to his body that he did to Luffy's. But Luffy's body still required hours to kind of, like, get acclimated to that. Maybe he's got some secret, super secret juice since he's doing it to himself. I'm assuming he's going to be, he's going to do something to himself. Same thing with Blackbeard. Blackbeard seems like he's going to have an important catalyst role to play within the next couple hundred episodes. Whatever, whether that's for himself, for the Navy, for pirates, for the new era, whatever it is. Um, he's not going to die as well. So how he overcomes the poison whether it's something with his ability somebody in his crew's ability maybe Vonkov goes and helps him who knows um but both groups are going to be fine it's just a question of how they get around the poison <laughs> it's so wild when like and this is in all animes when something's so absolute um and then all of a sudden it just becomes not absolute like with his poison and things like that um i researched magellan's abilities uh like a day ago luckily I was very safe with it. I don't know if he loses, wins, dies. Just want to kind of get a deeper understanding. I really, and I'm going to keep saying this because I don't even know if we get more of Magellan kind of after this arc is over. Maybe we don't see Magellan ever again. I'm sure he gets mentioned over a thousand episodes. There's just no way he doesn't get mentioned. Maybe we see him again, but is he ever going to have a really important role to play? Kind of like he's playing now. Who knows? Um, it's, I don't get how he doesn't get to be a Logia. Like I understand like the elements and like naturally occurring things that we kind of like chalk that up to be. But I feel like that poison should be one. And I've been saying that he should be able to, like, because we only see it in liquid form. We haven't really seen him, like, or maybe we have, and I just don't remember, like, gas out a room. Like, we would just see him do it in liquid form. And I just think to myself, like, with all these, like, rooms and places that they're kind of, like, they're just in these, like, uh, closed off cells and alleyways and levels and just close off a door... Could he not just slowly just start leaking some of that, some of the venom or poison gas, like turn it into a gas form and let it leak? Um, and I got a detailed explanation of his abilities and it says that he does like secrete it in like a gas air form. I just don't think we've seen it. I feel like if he was able to do that like slowly but surely while fighting at the same time, it's almost, I mean, it's damn near almost 100% TKO when he touches you with it anyway. But imagine leaking that in the air and he's not affected by it, but others are. It would be absolutely insane, but we'll go ahead and get on it. We'll drag it over here and um, let's do it. Let's do it. Is this where we snap out? Yeah, there we go. Better hurry up. Oh, yeah, and Jimbe out here going... Aquaman. I want to see Crocodile go off. I'm here for Crocodile Supremacy. Da -na 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 -na. Him and Enru are like my top two villains so far in the show. So to see him get like another go of it, because I've been pretty much told that Enru never comes back. Imagine he's like the final boss. God, that'd be pretty crazy. Um, God, that'd be insane. I'd love to see Enru come back with like a um, uh, conquerors level hockey. Woo! <laughs> I mean, it's good. When we're talking elements and low in Logia fruits, does it get much more OP than lightning itself? Holy shit, man. It's unfortunate. You know what would also be busted as hell? Holy shit. The fuck is. What the? Man's going insane. The fish man thing is busted as hell. 
But you know what would be crazy? If there was a workaround to the Devil's Fruit, like, you know, we can't get in the water type thing. If fishmen were immune to that fact. Like, that's just another thing. They still need the ship. He's over damaging the ship too much, bro. We still need it. Yeah. Um, imagine if fishmen weren't affected by, like, the water aspect of Devil's Fruits and how they're weak against it. Holy shit. I mean, they'd be un I feel like they'd be, un they'd be unbeatable. They're already... They already have an advantage over Devil's Fruit users. I'm just gonna stay in the water. Come to me, bro. I'm, I'm not fighting you on land. Why would I give up that advantage, number one? I'm already naturally stronger than you, quicker than you, faster than you. And you give me a hockey? Whew. I guess it depends on the setting of where you fight. Because if it's around water... Well, they would never fight you in open water like that, you know? They'd be like, oh, well, I'm on land, I'm in water. All right, let me know when you want to fight. See ya. <laughs> Both sides would just never fight each other, in my opinion. How long does this wax hold up for? And the thing is, like... Ooh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Because, again, he's he doesn't turn into the the poison. He just coats himself in it. So it's just like he's wearing like padding, like a bulletproof vest or something. If something, if a bullet is hitting hard enough, it's he's gonna feel that shit through the through the armor, through the bulletproof vest, through the shoulder pads. Jesus. Somebody's always got to be around. That's always convenient. Rubber against Enru, liquid against crocodile. This wax against the poison. I just love Magellan's character so much. They always make his voice like echo through the, the prison halls too. He <laughs> just pulled that smoke. Bro, just l turn it into gas. Just gas out the whole level. He just, okay, he covered himself in it again. Nothing we haven't seen, but this time it's a different color. It's been purple the entire arc. What is this? Thicker? I, I don't know why it's red. <laughs> is it just the blood leaking out of his raging aura? Like he's Mike Guy going gear 8. Pushed it too far. The wax just gave out like that? Why do they keep giving that wax a mechanical sound? Yeah, he did turn that shit off. What is that? I mean, what is that? His poison does that type of shit anyway. I don't know why it's red. Eh? Nani? It looks like he's he's opened up all eight gates. Bro, imagine he just leaks gas off of that. The whole room just passes out. It really is. He's his has always been more corrosive, like just acid eating. I'm trying to see you on like the wheezing, coughing grind. You got this bubbling hot venom. Okay. Is he pulling it back in? He is. Now what? It's a long charge up time. I'll tell you that much. What did he just do? I love the sound effect that they're putting on that, by the way. Yo, I'm look am I in the eclipse? Is this berserk? What am I looking at right now? Holy shit. Is it just a bigger Hydra type shit? Is it just a bigger, a bigger Venom monster? <laughs> Spatial expression in the sound. Okay, what does this do besides the same thing the Hydra did? 
Just a big monster that he controls? Yeah, essentially. Why the color changes stuff, I don't know. It looks cool. I don't know the reason behind it. Is it like more venomous? More dangerous? It's kind of like eating everything in its way. Magellan's great though, regardless. I wish he utilized his Devil's Fruit a little bit more. I feel like we get some real crazy use out of that ability. Oh, they're just burning on sight now. They were damn near burning on So Okay, look what you did. Look what you did. I want to see him just suffocate the room, like corner to corner. He picks all four corners and just spreads it across the entire level. Now again, that'd probably kill everybody, including Luffy, but... You start thinking about the wild possibilities of what these Devil's Fruits could accomplish when you start seeing them. Um, that you would love to see it all out, but the problem is it going all out would kill the main character that's getting, that's versed it, you know? Whether this would be Luffy, Sanji, Zoro, Chopper, whoever the opponent is on our side. Um, can't really have them do these crazy things you think about because they would die. Where is... Um, Dark... Ying to the Yang boy, Shiru, whatever. That's just a complete piece of shit. Um, like, what are we? Where, where's he at? Fucking shit up. I hate that they keep saying unbeatable because he's going to end up being beaten. I just, it just, I'm very curious. I'm telling you, Blackbeard and Ivanka are going to are going to run him up in the back. You know how they deal with it? Good question. This dude is on some crazy shit. Unless y'all got some admirals on that ship, I don't see how these fodder are keeping up with anything. That crocodile is able to do, even Mr. One. None of that's going to hit him. You would think they'd have some inside knowledge on what his weakness might be. He got some water guns or something. Um, But I guess not. Ooh. Okay, Eddie Gordo. Wolverine. Bro, Jinbei's just down there fucking shit up, clearly. I don't even remember that we have a crew, by the way. Who are the Straw Hats? Do we remember them? By face or name? I don't know how many episodes it's been, but we've been getting up there. Like, since we hit uh, Amazon Island, Lily, whatever it was. How long has it been? Who was the last one we left off with? Was it Usa? I'm not sure. It was quite a while ago, though. So just sink it. I was about, exactly, sink it. Shoot it. There's two Devil's Fruit users on that ship. Knock it down. Y'all are taking too long anyway. I would have sacrificed that one ship and crew over them possibly getting out. Now it's too late. Yo, we want to talk about there not being a water devil's fruit. The shit he's controlling right now is pretty busted. I wonder if all fishermen kind of have... Well, I wouldn't say all fishermen, because we've seen a handful of fishermen. We've never seen them uh, bend water like he's been doing. That's for sure. They just like get a little quicker in the water, you know, swimming a little quicker and shit. He's over here damn near water bending. They're trying to get out so fast. Run, move, 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 move. <laughs> the ship's not there yet, guys. I really hope he doesn't burn down the entire prison and himself. Blackbeard, Ivanka, we're waiting on one of you guys. That's, I assume, how they get out of this. I assume. Uh, 
Okay. One's moving. Doesn't look to be in fighting shape. Okay, so yeah, we're just not, yeah, we're not in fighting shape at all. We can barely walk. I thought maybe he would have, given that he has the devil's fruit of it, and he probably knows his hormones more, maybe he's got a special ability that, like, juices himself up more than what he did to Luffy, but it doesn't look like that, I guess, at the moment. Where's Blackbeard? That's, I'm assuming, how we get out of here. What? Tell me we don't pop up like right in front of him and cause the whole thing to collapse. Yep. Luffy's on the wrong side of that. Jesus. Someone's gonna have to carry me. Can you, can you, uh, shrink, please? Can we shrink down? We can't carry you at all. Like, at all. <laughs> um, guys, he's still behind us. Just tossing that snail like that. Uh, can we steer the ship back? <laughs> Where did the transponder snail sh idea come from? I was gonna say, they weren't like, they had to go get that ship. What is he gonna do, part the water like Moses? I was gonna say, there's beast in there, and also, we got a couple devil's fruit users here. I mean, you don't have a choice. It's it's what you want to do. What do we do here? We got like four or five Devil's Fruit users on us that can't touch water like that. And I also can't touch this poison. So what do you want to try to do? Hit him hard enough to knock him back so we can get time to jump into the water or what? Uh, Jinbei's got some Aquaman whispers to the Sea Kings and water type shit going on. <laughs> Yo, they always have him moving so slow. Imagine he had crazy speed on him. This arc would have wrapped up 20 episodes ago. Ooh. I guess if you could just knock him back hard enough one time, I don't know if he can eat this hit though. It's gonna eat through the wax for sure, but can he have enough to get through the sh thickness of the poison? And Luffy's gonna be, have we ever seen him use a kick before with the gear three? I don't think we have. Have we? Maybe we have. Who knows? Luffy does a lot of shit. You better hope you don't kick through the wax. The animation is so much better this episode. My god. It's because, and the thing is, like, this is this is pretty, like, baseline good average uh, animation, art and animation for, like, a One Piece episode. It's just those last couple episodes were so shit. And Luffy's useless, so how much did that get us? Did that give us enough time? Uh, guys, if that didn't, did it? Maybe it knocked him out, and the poison will stop right before he gets to us because he's unconscious. Magellan doesn't go out like that, does he? Bro, of course he wakes up. He said, are you straw hat, son? Bro, can you shrink your head so we can manage to carry you? Oh, that was a quick recharge. What are you going to do, death wink them backwards? 
like towards the ship. There's way too no 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 no. His head ain't that big. No 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 no. Now you're trolling me, anime or not. His head was not that big to hold. They had like a good fifty to hundred people there. No shot. Hmm. No, no, no. And half of them just died running into that column, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. There were way more people than that that just climbed on top of him. I refuse to believe it. Refuse to believe that shit. No, 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 no. Anime or not. That is not even improbable. That's just not real. <laughs> it's just not real. Hmm. Hmm. Telling you, he talks to fish, bro. Ivankov himself can't hit the water, by the way. Told you. This man over here is Aquaman. Just recruited like a thousand whales. What whale is big enough to hold us? What is this? Look at the size of that thing. Gee, I'm telling you, that man, you give him a Conqueror's level hockey, and he, I don't know if there's other fishmen we run into that are going to be as strong as him or whatever he's possessing. I would hope so, because it kind of, it's like, oh, well, there's no more fishmen to look forward to if he's the strongest. It's pretty busted. I would only fight in the water. I'd create a kingdom underwater, too. There's no reason to ever leave. And there might be stronger people on land than me. But there's nobody stronger in water than me, so what do y'all want to do? And probably the strongest people out there on the land all possess devil's fruit. So, you gonna come get me or not? Pretty busted. Pretty, pretty busted. I'm trying to see where he first transforms into this, like, hell diver thing we got going on here. I guess I do... Yo, this gave me Eclipse vibes. I guess I do prefer this I guess them escaping rather than <laughs> some random explanation on how they were able to defeat him um man ate that gear three to the face no granted it had to go through this poison and the wall of wax um what can you do so they got out, which again, from just a baseline storyteller point, you know that they have to make it out. Um, because the whole point of getting to the prison was to get and rescue Ace. They got to the prison. Ace left. <laughs> so the entire point of the arc, there was no point because we got here to get him out and he was transported out. So. Who knows why we showed up here. Um, but because that was the result of how that happened, um, we know they're making it out. Like we, and even if you didn't, like they're making it, even if you told me that like Ace didn't get out of here and they got down to Ace and they're having to like carry Ace out of here, they're gonna make it out, you know? So we kind of knew that was gonna happen. I just didn't know if, you know, Luffy was gonna kind of like get the second go round on Miguel and actually put him down this time or kind of what that might be. Um, but it was just more of them running away. And that's how they, and hey, sometimes you gotta run. That's like the, what, the second part, what was that, the second fight in a row that he's had to run from? Um, Because he just wasn't good enough, wasn't strong enough. Magellan, and um, was it Kuma that they ran from? Or did they run from Kazaru? I think they ran from Kuma because Rayleigh came to deal with Kazaru. That's back-to-back -back fights he's had to run from. Now, we've had little fodder fights since then with, like, grunt-level people. Nothing, you know, too crazy. Um, so, he's 0 for 2 in his last big dog fights. Honestly, 0 for 3 because he lost to Magellan once already. Uh, so, they're out of there. Um, I guess that's kind of how that ends. A little anticlimactic. Um, but I guess I prefer that than randomly Luffy coating himself in wax and somehow being able to put him down. Um... I guess the follow-up, like, if we're, if we're really done with Impel Down, like, we're done with the prison, like, setting of that kind of being the setting for the, like, next arc. Um, I guess the only thing we have to look forward to in there is uh, the Blackbeard situation, because he's still in there. Um, 
Now I'll bet my life savings that he's not dead. Uh, so what's up with his storyline? Do we just let the higher ups know that like, hey, he did just help them escape. Do we then just go there and toss him into a cell? <laughs> like he's already here. We got C prism cells that y'all tell me people can't break out of and shit. So do we just put his him and his crew inside the cells or what? Or how does he flex and bust up out of here? So they've never had a prison. Well, they've had one person ever escape. They just had hundreds escape, by the way. Um, are we making it 101 or what? 105 if you add in his crew. So I'm curious like what they do with that. Because Luffy is no longer in the prison. Luffy no longer needs help getting out of the prison. Unless they, he's somehow going to... They're going to get like swarmed by the surrounding ships. Which, again, Jinbei just jumps in the water and probably deals with that pretty quickly. Um, so unless Blackbeard is going to be used to help those ships surrounding ships not sink us um i'll be curious of what becomes of blackbeard story now um yeah i, I enjoyed Magellan's character a lot um still pissed that he can't be a logia uh but we'll go ahead because I, I would be curious of like if he was a logia and turned into venom or poison or poisonous gas whatever form he would take of it being a logia like what his counter would be, you know, because we see that, you know, um, we saw Enru running into Luffy being rubber, which I still think if Enru like thought about it, he probably could have still defeated Luffy. And I feel like he did defeat Luffy. He just kind of like left. Um, if he kept hitting him with that gold rod and other shit that he had, I don't see kind of like what Luffy does. And they're dragging it out, keeping Enru like within striking distance of Luffy running up Jack, the fucking giant beanstalk shit. <laughs> like just leave. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we kind of saw the counter to that. We saw, you know, the water or the moisture being the counter to crocodiles, uh, being able to actually touch him. So you start to think like, okay, what's the counter to smoke or smoke? What's the counter to Ace's fire? What's the counter to, if Magellan was, what would be the counter to his poison? And it not being Devil's Fruit specific because not everybody has access to that. Not everybody can be what Blackbeard is Devil's Fruit wise, you know? So what would the average person's counter to those Devil's Fruits be? You know, crocodile with smoke. Uh, I mean, Crocodile with the moisture, Enru with some type of rubber base. What would you do for the rest? I don't know. Water. Water devil's fruit. <laughs> but go ahead and leave it there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...